In this video, we'll be learning how to create smart materials inside Substance Designer and a couple of cases where it could be useful to have this setup. You can skip ahead to this timestamp in the video if you want to just dive right into Designer. Now, before we get started, it's important to understand what exactly is a smart material. A smart material is a stack of materials with different procedural effects being driven by the maps that you bake from your mesh. While it's way more convenient and much faster to just stack materials up inside Painter, the problem with that approach is that smart materials inside Painter are saved in the .spsm format. That means you can only open these smart materials inside Painter. So if you wanted to modify certain parameters like the color or the roughness of the asset, you would either open the project file and modify the effects in the layers yourself or if you don't have the actual project file, you will need to manually modify the map inside an image editing software like Photoshop or Krita. That's where making smart materials inside Designer might come in handy. Now that we have Substance Designer open, let's just go click on Add a new substance. It'll bring up the templates window, then click on Painter filter specific with additional maps. What this template has are your usual PBR metal rough nodes and also some additional input nodes at the bottom. This is where we'll be plugging in our baked maps for a smart material. This template doesn't have a normal output though, so let's just add an output, set the identifier name to normal, type in normal as the label, and then type in material under group, and then let's just set the usage type to normal. Now we can start with our basic material. I'm gonna add a base material and a rust material I got from Substance Source, and then blend them both using a material blend node. Now we need the mask to drive the amount of rust on the metal. I'll just add in a grunge map 02 node, use levels to crank up the contrast, and then plug that in a slope blur grayscale node to get the sort of rusty spread effect. We can tile it a bit using a safe transform grayscale node. Then we can blend the dirt one node and set the opacity to 0.5 to add some speckles to it. I'm gonna blend in a grunge map to add a bit more variety to it and that's our basic mask. Let's plug it in our material blend node and there's our basic rusty metal material. We can add in a histogram scan node to be able to have some control over the rust amount and the rust contrast. Now to make this a smart material, let's import the mesh here and bake a map to test it out. I'll be importing this chair from the 3db asset library. I'm just gonna choose ambient occlusion from mesh as my baker and then I'll do a quick bake. We can plug that in and add a levels node to invert the values and make our mask affect all the occluded areas. Then we can blend that inverted AO map with a rust mask and then set that to multiply to add some variation. In order to switch between using a baked map or a regular mask, we can use a switch grayscale node. Let's plug in our bake map into true and our regular mask into false. What this means is that if this is set to true, we'll be using your AO map to drive the effect. If false, we'll be using the regular mask. All that's left now is to expose the parameters. You can go up to any parameter in designer, click on expose, and then give it its own identifier name. In this case, I'll be exposing my histogram scan parameters to control the amount of rust and also the material presets for the base material node so that I can change the underlying metal. I'll also be labeling these parameters so that it's easier to read them. Finally, let's just connect our AO input node and replace the bake map we used to test this material, and then we can export this as an SPSAR file and import it inside Painter. Now we can import this just like any other material and then drag it into our layer stack. You'll notice that it says it's missing an AO map at the bottom. All we need to do is bake our AO map and it'll be automatically plugged into the material. Just set the use mask parameter to true and there's our occluded rust. Another thing you can do is if you just wanted that smart material to be specific for a single asset, 
you can just leave behind the maps that you baked from your mesh and then export that material. Now when you import the mesh and material inside Substance Player, all the parameters you have will be specific for that asset. 